guys, it's Morgan Yates. I recently challenged myself to do 30 days of boxing classes and here is what happened. Thank you to Fabletics for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to today's video. So back in July, Yes, July. I set out to do 30 days of boxing classes as a physical challenge, as a mental challenge. At the time when I started this, I was feeling just a little bit dissatisfied with like the lack of discipline in my life, I guess. I feel like when you work for yourself, especially with something as flexible as social media, it's easy to do pretty much everything on your own terms. You don't really have to do anything you don't wanna do. You don't report to anyone. So as someone who's not a really like routine person, a lot of what I do is just fully dictated by what I'm in the mood to do and what I feel like doing at a given time. And in thinking about this, I realized that for pretty much my whole life, that mentality has sort of carried itself over into my exercise habits as well. I've gone through periods of being like super hardcore about working out and whatever, and they're usually pretty brief. And then when that wave of motivation leaves, I leave the gym right with it, you know? <laughs> so I wanted to do this 30 days of boxing challenge to push myself to actually stick to something for once, even at times when I'm not necessarily in the mood to be working out and just to sort of develop some discipline in my life as well as to get stronger along the way. If you've never taken a boxing class, I'm sure they vary, but I go to Rumble Boxing in West Hollywood where each class is broken up into 10 three minute rounds. Your time in the class is also split between two sides of the room, the bag side and the floor side. You start with a three minute warm up where you go over the punches and then you spend three rounds on the bag where you cycle through different punch combos, sometimes focusing on power and other times aiming for speed. There are six punches you need to know, each one with a corresponding number one through six. Punch one is your jab, which is basically just a straight shot with your non-dominant hand. Punch two is your cross, which is the same thing on your other hand, except that this one involves rotating your back leg. Punches three and four are your hooks, so while keeping your elbows up and bent, you drive these punches into the sides of the bag while rotating your hips to get the most power. Punches five and six are your uppercuts where you get up underneath the bag and basically pretend you're hitting your opponent under the chin. And those are the six punches. So after three rounds on the bag, you switch to the floor side for three rounds of interval training using weights. The class really becomes a full body workout here with lots of legs being incorporated and even more arms all while keeping your heart rate up. Once round six is complete, you're done with the weights, you go back to the bags for two rounds and then finally you wrap things up with the last two rounds on the floor where round nine usually focuses on abs and then round 10, the rumble round is a cardio burnout. It is straight up not easy, okay? <laughs> but it is really fun, it's my favorite workout. It's actually the only workout I've ever like loved enough to think about going for a week, much less do it for 30 days. So let's jump into day one, which speaking of discipline, I didn't even wanna go on day one. I'm about to head off to day one. I expected to be starting this off on a bit of a different note. I took a red eye back from Hawaii yesterday where I've been for the past eight days. Man, energy's lacking. Let's go. Class one, complete. I'm doing trouble every day for 30 days. Oh, you are? <laughs> oh. Taylor, how was the class? Day three. Recruited Taylor again. Just finished my day three workout wearing all Fabletics as always. I'm gonna, I'm just in a great mood. I kicked the week off on such a great note. I had so much energy. Like I was powering through that workout. I thought now also I need to like set a few goals that I haven't established yet for these 30 days. Things I wanna be better at by the end of this. One including at the very end of the workout, the final two rounds on the floor side, you take these weights off the front of your bench that are either one pound, two pound or three pounds. That doesn't sound like much, but when half the workout is punching a bag and then like, three rounds or using dumbbell weights, then your last two rounds, these little hand weights, one, two, or three pounds is like it. So I used to do two pounds. Lately, I don't know why I've been using the one pound. <laughs> so my goal by the end of this would be, I want that last workout. I wanna be using the three pounds, baby. Flutter kicks, would love to be better about those. Jump lunges, what are those? I never do those. When it says jump lunges, I do a, a step reverse lunge because I don't wanna die. I'd love to increase my dumbbell weight from seven and a half pounds to the 10 pound ones. I think that about covers it. It is only day five right now. <laughs> Let me tell ya, I thought I would ride out this wave of excitement longer than five days, but I'm just tired, you know? <laughs> it's not even that I'm dying, it's just that I'm straight up just feeling lazy. I wanna lay on the couch. <laughs> Today is day seven, I think. I'm now able to put in like 110% every single workout class in like 
am fine till the end. I can do more than I could a week ago, which is crazy. I slept incredible last night. Everything feels better. We're in a little tank from Fabletics tonight. So after powering through only a few days of not always being in the mood to be there, I could already tell that I was getting a lot stronger and it was only the end of week one. So despite this progress though, I quickly found myself being tired again and not always being in the mood to be there. So had it not been for this challenge, I for sure wouldn't have been there any of these days because Morgan was not feeling it. Today I'm wearing leggings from Fabletics Pure Luxe Collection. They're supposed to be for like studio workouts or yoga, but I really like having a lot of flexibility. I'm wearing these today, excited to try these out for the first time. As well as I'm also wearing this like built-in bra tank. The sports bra is built in. So that's what we're wearing today. Day eight, let's go. Ooh, man. I'm sure I'm just not in the mood to go today. We're doing it. Day 10. I'm in such a bad mood today. What I was learning already was that every time I finished a class, whether I went in there in a good mood or a bad mood, it didn't matter if I'd been looking forward to boxing all day or if I had to drag myself there. I left every single time just like in the best mood, feeling so much happier. So it actually become really easy to just train myself to get up and go even if I wasn't in the mood to because I knew the feeling that was going to follow it. I was getting into a serious groove with it. I'd been to 11 classes in under two weeks, but then I had the terrible opportunity to go to France and Italy, getting paid to travel, insane. It was an eight day trip. I obviously went on it. You may have seen the video from that already. And I had a really wonderful time and I met a lot of friends, which was awesome because I didn't know anyone going into it. So we had that little eight day detour the first of our detours, but I came back really excited to jump back into this challenge. Actually, immediately following a 20 hour travel day, I went straight to a workout. I don't know, I was like high on life. I had so much energy that I just wanted to like get out. I can also tell I'm getting stronger. Throughout all these 30 days, I have been living in my Fabletics active wear. You guys see this a lot in my vlogs. This is from Fabletics. It's one of their sculpt knit tops. My favorite leggings to work out are their Mila pocket capris, which have this breathable mesh side paneling, which is awesome for keeping you cool. They're actually also great if you're going on a run or a walk because they have a foam pocket on the side, which is always clutch. But I pretty much live in the Mila sets. Here's another one with the Mila Medium Impact Sports Bra. If you're doing something like a boxing class, I highly recommend a medium or even high impact sports bra, especially for moves on the floor side of these boxing classes. I tend to gravitate towards higher impact sports bras in case there's a lot of jumping and whatnot going on. Um, it's just nice to feel secure. <laughs> another of my favorite sports bras is the Kessler Medium Impact Sports Bra. Unlike the Mila one, the band at the bottom of this one is a lot smaller, so it's great for when I want to feel like extra comfy. Fabletics also included this bra in one of their October outfits, along with these high-waisted statement power hold leggings in the 7 8 length 7 8 why is that such a tongue twister every time I don't think I'm saying that right so all the outfits you see in this video are from Fabletics if you want to check them out I have my link below they're my favorite workout clothes I find their prices to be unbeatable in my opinion especially if you sign up for VIP and you can get two pairs of leggings for $24 right now I believe their outerwear is all at 50% off for a limited time and the quality is unbelievable I could talk about this for forever you guys know what a fan I am of this company but if maybe you're ordering stuff for the first time and you're looking for a starting place I highly recommend the Mila leggings or their sculpt knit leggings I've actually been wearing those probably the the most workout in, which I talked about in a recent vlog that I'll have linked as well. Those are so comfy. So decked out with my Fabletics, we are back to day 13, where I walked outside to find that someone had hit my car and didn't leave a note. So that was awesome. And then on day 14, I had been awake since 2 a.m. because our power went out and I was overheating in the middle of the night. So I was in a bad mood on that day. Also, I was being tested those days. Currently in the car to stop late. I'm like yelling at cars. I don't know, that's not what I normally do when I'm driving. That's the beauty of boxing, you can be like, celebrating on the bags, you can be beating somebody up. Update on my terrible mood. <laughs> I feel better post working out. What I wear to work out today, a little Fabletic set, a high impact sports bra that is currently a damp. My fave uh, Trinity High Waisted Pocket Capri leggings. Start to work out on what should be day 30 and is day 30 chronologically speaking, but is workout 15. <laughs> but I'm also not in the mood right now, but we're gonna do it. In all of this, however, I continue to leave those workouts in a better mood regardless of the circumstances surrounding my day. It becomes something that I was starting to look forward to daily as well as something that was clearly doing great things for my mental health. Ooh, class 16 or 17. And then <laughs> I went on another trip for three weeks. On our... Missed you, babe. <laughs> away for two and a half weeks. This is gonna be very interesting. What has this video turned into? I have no idea. Things don't always go how we thought they would. I thought this was gonna be a 30 day thing. Then I was like, oh, we'll do it every other day. Maybe this will go for a little longer. I'm not traveling for a while. So I thought, I just got back from Croatia and London and Bosnia. And I have not worked out in two and a half weeks. This past trip, the only thing working out was my liver and life goes on. I had a wonderful time. That was maybe my favorite trip I've ever had. Excited to get back into working out. Um, just a little anecdote that I thought I'd share that 
didn't see it being included in this video, but I haven't been looking forward to getting back into working out necessarily just because I know it's gonna be more difficult than it was when I left. But what I love about boxing and what really keeps me going back is for me, it's so much more mental than it is physical. When I'm at boxing, it's very little me like thinking about like the, I mean it is thinking about like the moves and whatever. Every workout class is primarily me just like moving, like taking out aggression about something I'm mad about or frustrated about or like if I'm feeling anxious, like it's a great way to like get out those feelings or more often than not, I'm moving and being active and like taking out energy because I'm so happy or excited or just like having a great day. I think boxing is honestly just a great way to celebrate life as weird as that sounds. Like that's just kind of where my mind goes like when I'm in there boxing and like the music's playing and I'm having a great time and I'm just like always sitting here thinking, I kind of like pray too when I'm like, <laughs> when I'm boxing and I'm just always like, wow, life's so good. A lot of reflection happens for me. So the past couple of days being back in town when I haven't gone back to boxing, cause I've just been like, ooh, it's gonna be hard. I kind of accepted that I was just gonna have to like fight through that mindset, go to the class, be a little sluggish maybe and just like not fully enjoy it. But today I woke up and I saw that it is world Wide suicide Prevention Day. I've touched on this here and there, but for those who don't know, back about four years ago, my sophomore year of college was just a dark time to be Morgan, and was very depressed for a long period of time. Just didn't want to be alive. Was consumed with so much just like fear and hopelessness, and thought, literally believed that like my future, this is the bumpiest road to be having this conversation on. Genuinely believed that there was just nothing positive to be found in my future and I was in Croatia just like watching a sunset and I was like if you would have told me that this would be my life four years ago it's just insane to think about like how much has changed how much has happened how far things have come and how much better things have gotten and how I genuinely believed that that would never be possible but just doing all that reflecting has me very excited for today's class because it's gonna be a celebration it's a celebration of life it's a celebration of where my life is currently and just the things that I get to do um, so many things I love so many people I love and just living a life that I didn't think was possible so that's kind of where my headspace is at today. I think it's a great note to get back into boxing because we're only like halfway done. And then I left again and we're gonna pretend that I did it. It's day one back at it. Overall, it's day at 19. I really can't believe that this has been such a long process. At this point, I was actually two full months into the challenge, but I'd actually been out of town for 30 of those 60 days. Sometimes I really ask myself why I pay rent here. And I was honestly also just feeling like straight up embarrassed about how many people I had told that I was doing this challenge and how long it had taken. Obviously, it's easy to point to my traveling for being like the reason or the excuse behind like me taking so long, but like I was still in town for 30 days and I could have finished it. So at this point, I realized that I hadn't actually been making this the challenge that I set out to make it. For example, I would only go to instructors whose classes I had already been to because that was in my comfort zone, which is also hilarious because it's literally the same workout. It like doesn't vary that much. But if there was a day where one of my like instructors wasn't teaching, I like wouldn't go rather than just go to a new person. Or another example, I would only go to class times that were super convenient for me. So let's say if I had a really busy day and I was running all over the place, rather than like wake up an hour and a half earlier and like go to a morning class earlier than I would like to be awake, I would instead just not go at all that day. So there were just a lot of ways I could have made this more more challenging and I was taking like the easy way out that that makes sense so on October 1st class day 19 so far into this challenge I decided that it was gonna be a real challenge and on that day kicking things off I signed up for an instructor that I'd never taken before that might sound so small but like I just like refused to do that in the past I don't know why at this point I was super excited and finally we got on a roll day 19 baby I feel so good that was a great workout Okay, we're heading to Rumble. Here's some wearing these like seamless leggings from Fabletics. A pretty day. Muscles are sore. I guess one progress thing throughout this is I've increased the weights I use. So I've gone up to 10 pound weights. I can honestly probably go up again. By the end of this, I probably wanna go up again. Class 23 complete. Feeling strong. You know it was a good workout when there is this much boob sweat. <laughs> At Rumble, I recruited a friend. on day, I believe 26. My shoulders are so sore. Amazing workout. <laughs> finished day 27. It was a hard one. So something happened on day 27. I was filming a clip in a vlog like showing my outfit and I was like filming in the mirror showing like the back of this like sports bra tank. I was watching the footage back later and like caught a glimpse of my back and I was a little shook not because I'm like so fit and whatever because I'm not. I kept replaying it being like that did not look like that before. So then I started to go back through some other footage and I realized that there were some other small physical changes that had taken place a lot of which probably no one but like myself would notice including like 
I don't know, in my face, I can tell the difference, probably no one. And while I no way want to make this video about any kind of like weight loss or like physical whatever, because that's not like what this is about, it's about getting stronger, it's about reaching those goals, which I reached all of also. It's about becoming more disciplined and being mentally stronger, but just in seeing that footage, it was cool to see some tangible changes that had taken place. So it's a bonus, I'll accept. <laughs> Day 28, this little crop top is from Fabletics. Also wearing Fabletics sculpt knit leggings. Day 29 unboxing, nearing the end. I'm proud of you. Thanks. Ah! Currently driving to my 30th class right now. I don't know, I've gone from like counting down how many classes I had left as like a, you can do this Morgan, only this many more, like whatever, you've done this many, to now it's like, I could do this for 30 more days. Like I love it. This is something I like look forward to. I like don't want to go a day without going. It is so weird. The shift has only happened in like the past week. For me, this is like set the tone for the rest of my life, just in terms of what it does for me mentally. Um, so I'm so excited, it's my 30th day. Just finished day 30, it was such a good class. It's just crazy like how recently this used to be so hard for me that I would like feel like I was gonna throw up and die. <laughs> and now it's like, I feel like I could do a second class right now. Over the past 30 classes, I've gone up in like the weights I'm using. I went up again today actually. A lot can happen in 30 days or 30 classes. Day 30 outfit, sculpt knit leggings, and a meal sports bra. Like I just feel so much stronger, I don't know. I feel powerful, sounds cheesy. So for some final stats, I took my 30th class 85 days. <laughs> after I started. If we feel generous and we want to subtract my travel, then I did those 30 classes within 55 days of being in LA. But with that still, we're averaging to just like slightly more than one class every other day. Once I decided to actually treat this like a challenge this month, um, we started actually accomplishing things, go figure. I did the final stretch of this by doing 12 classes within 13 days. Actually, it was more than that in a row because I kept going after the 30 days were over. It's weird now, it's like, if I'm having a wonderful day, I want to like be at boxing and like celebrating. Or if I'm having a bad day, I want to like be there knowing that when I leave, like I'll feel better. I'm like my very inconsistent class attendance. <laughs> the one thing that was consistent was that every single class I would leave it feeling happier, feeling stronger, feeling proud of myself. So if it took me 85 days to realize just how much better my life is with this in it, then so be it. And dare I say, I think I am a little bit more disciplined. I think everyone can benefit from trying to commit to something for 30 days, whether it's a workout class or maybe you want to read every day or maybe you want to get eight hours of sleep if that's something you struggle with or just whatever that thing is that you want to do that you aren't doing, go out and do it. If it goes anything for you like this did for me, you'll probably keep going even when the 30 days end.